Welcome to the Evil Camp. Unlocking the storyline with the main characters in Marvel Universe has a chance to enhance the power of your spells. Unleashed spells can be upgraded with villain values, making you even stronger. When people experience negative emotions such as fear, anger, sadness, frustration, and regret, they can earn villain points, which are the devil's currency that can buy a lot, such as making you the best pianist, the wealthiest person. Or losing your life. Attempting to create negative emotions among superheroes, making them feel fear and anger, can lead to unexpected rewards. So, are you ready? Mr. Devil, who will descend on the Marvel Universe. Luasha, who possesses the power of the Twelve Talismans, looked at the system and fell into contemplation keywords of the novel. Marvel. Twelve Charms with no pop-ups, Marvel. Twelve Charms TXT Complete Collection Download, Marvel. Twelve Charms Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1. Choose Your Camp. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Choose Your Camp New York, Midtown College of Technology, Graduation Class. The windows in the back row were tightly closed, but the books on the desk by the window were flipping without wind, revealing the name Ricardo M. Luo on the title page as the pages flipped. Kung Fu Mantra Floating Luasha controlled the pages to flip at a constant speed. When bored in class, he often played these small games and while passing the time, trained himself to control the power of the talisman. The girl at the neighboring table looked curiously at the pages of the textbook flipping at a constant speed on the table in Loxia, but she couldn't feel the wind at all. Watching the girl at the neighboring table pushing her glasses, Luo Xia felt a bit amused and decided to tease her. The book closed and stopped. Luo Xia took out a signature pen and skillfully turned it twice to signal the girl with glasses. Suddenly, he closed his hand and quickly spread it out again. The girl was surprised to push her glasses again, thinking she was dizzy. The signing pen disappeared out of thin air. Luo Xia's palm flipped again, and the signature pen returned to his hand, spinning. The girl folded her chin and whispered through the aisle, Amazing magic show. Luasha smiled slightly. The snake talisman had invisible power, and he had just applied the power of the snake talisman to the signature pen. Luasha knew this girl, of course, not from the day he transferred to this class. The glasses girl in Marvel's Spider-Man movie, although only a few shots, still left an impression on the audience with her appearance. Many editing works by secondary bloggers also made Luasha remember her. When Luo Xia first entered the Marvel world, he was still very excited. After he activated the Golden Finger 12 Talismans, this excitement reached its peak. But slowly the excitement subsided, and even a hint of worry arose. Because Luo Xia found that the power of his 12 Talismans was too weak, for example, the Cow Talisman added about 200 kilograms of strength to him, and with the blessing of the Rabbit Talisman, his hundred-meter speed could only reach about five seconds. The explosive power of the dragon talisman could not even penetrate a one-centimeter thick steel plate if these powers are already sufficient in the ordinary universe, but this is the Marvel Universe, and there is a setting in the plot where the snap finger solves half of the universe's population, the power of this spell seems a bit insufficient. When Luo Xia couldn't resist another roast, a bright blue 3D interface suddenly appeared in front of him. Luasha stared blankly at those bold lines of words, choose your identity. A superhero who symbolizes light and justice, protects humanity, and maintains world peace, a villainous demon who symbolizes darkness and evil, destroys everything, and brings misfortune and fear. Luasha was still in shock, and the interface skipped a beat. Choose your item. Hero cloak slash devil mask. After Luo Xia regained her composure, she couldn't hide her excitement. It seems that her true golden finger has arrived. Without hesitation, he immediately chose the antagonistic camp and obtained the item Demon Mask. This requires almost no decision. Making. A person who wants to do good things has many concerns, but doing bad things has no restrictions at all. A bad person who does a good thing can arouse sympathy from the public, 
while a good person who does a bad thing will be despised by public opinion. In Marvel movies, the alliance to save the world is constrained by the United Nations and leads to civil war. A commoner dares to point a gun at a kind and righteous superhero, but he lacks the courage to face bandits and thugs Luasia caressed the demon mask she had reached inside the table, with a metallic texture as light as thin gauze and uneven patterns on the surface. At the same time, the functional information of the demon mask is transmitted. Wearing the mask can change one's clothing and figure, modify temperament and tone. Oh! It's really killing people and stealing goods, a must that have tool for home and travel. Luasia used the snake talisman to conceal the demon mask and put it into his backpack before finally letting go. He continued to observe the fluorescent blue interface in front of him, which was marked by several lines of explanatory text. Welcome to the evil camp. Unlocking the storyline with the main characters in Marvel Universe has a chance to enhance the power of your spells. Unleashed spells can be upgraded with villain values, making you even stronger. When people experience negative emotions such as fear, anger, sadness, frustration, and regret, they can earn villain points, which are the devil's currency that can buy many things, such as becoming the best pianist, the wealthiest person. Or losing your life. Trying to create negative emotions among superheroes can lead to unexpected rewards. So, are you ready? Mr. Devil, who will descend on the Marvel Universe. Luasia couldn't help but flick her hair with one hand. Marvel, get ready to face the biggest villain. Mr. Luo. The teacher under the blackboard almost roared out, teasing beautiful girls in class was enough, but he turned a blind eye to the teacher's classroom questions. Who said Asian students are excellent and well-behaved? The performance of this transfer student in their first class was extremely poor. Here. Luo Xia reflexively stood up, but it caused a burst of laughter. Some funny students imitated the action he got up to answer, and the noise couldn't even be suppressed by the teacher. In New York, students are allowed to sit and answer questions. Facing everyone's gaze, Luo Xia sat down and awkwardly pushed his glasses, but he pushed them empty, so can you answer my question, the teacher said, or do you need me to repeat it? I don't know if you repeated it ten times although Luo Xia's mind was not in the classroom, she ignored the teacher's question and heard it. It was a very complex formula, and the twelve talismans did not increase intelligence, sorry, could you please repeat it, teacher? Luo Xia appeared very sincere. It is a decay rate algorithm. Sorry teacher, I don't know the answer. Dot. The teacher frowned and was indeed very polite and obedient. This attitude makes life less likely to be angry. Okay, there may be differences in different courses at school, which is understandable. Is there anyone to help the new student Luo answer this question? The teacher decided to let Luo Xia go. Someone raised their hand in the middle of the classroom, and she stood up before saying the answer. Upon hearing the sound, Luo Xia looked up, his blonde hair fluttering and his face invisible but his heart was filled with the appearance of a girl. Gwen Stacy. Luasia squinted her eyes as she looked at the back of the blonde girl. His previous phone wallpaper was still Stone Sister. The bell rang and it was lunchtime. The midday sunshine was chopped by leaves and scattered haphazardly on the public dining table. So how did you do that magic just now? Is it a magical magic from the East? The glasses girl was very curious, and after getting to know each other, Loxia learned her name, Hannah. There is no magic in the East, we call it fairyland and magic, and a little more so, Taoism, said Luo Xia with a serious tone. Hannah's jaw dropped in shock and said, Unbelievable. Do all the schools over there teach these things? What's this? Our students over there all ride pandas or elephants, learn on horseback, and some even drive away corpses. Luasia swallowed half a sandwich in one gulp while talking nonsense, and glanced at Gwen sitting at the dining table in front of her on the left, reading a book. That girl is really beautiful. You can't catch up with the wealthy daughter of the top class. Hannah seemed very familiar, driving away the body. 
I didn't hear you wrong, did I? That's not the point, the point is, why do you think I can't catch up with her? Bet on a sandwich for a month. Hannah said firmly. Who eats a sandwich for a month? Luo Xia had a ghostly expression on her face. A crowd gathered around the campus, constantly surrounded by onlookers, and the noise came out. What happened? Luo Xia was curious. Hannah watched for a moment and said, It's Fleischer. That bastard is bullying people again. Campus bullying. Is this Fleischer the school bully? Luo Xia suddenly became eager to try. It can be said that he often bullies thin and weak boys, such as Tom, Jim, Peter. Hannah helplessly spread out her hand. I like school bullies. Luo Xia threw the disposable lunch box into the trash can and pinched his wrist. Fleischer, right. He will be my lucky star. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Villain Values Plus 10 Plus 10 Plus 10 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Villain Values Plus 10 Plus 10 Plus 10 The crowd gathered, with men and women laughing and watching the campus bullying happening at the central dining table. Eat the rest of your food, Gordon, hurry up. Fleischer laughed loudly, wasting food is not good, let alone free mashed potatoes with pork elbow. Luoxia squeezed into the circle holding her arms and saw this scene. The tall Fleischer was lifting and holding the thin and weak Gordon upside down, looking at the posture. Fleischer was preparing to stuff Gordon's face into the plate. Suddenly, a mechanical system sound sounded. Villain value plus one plus one plus one. Luoxia's expression moved and he felt the fear of Gordon being bullied, as well as a hint of hidden anger. It turned out that as long as people around him developed negative emotions, they could collect villain points, even if it wasn't caused by him. No, Fleischer, put him down, suddenly someone in the crowd shouted. He is wearing a grey jacket and jeans, with a camera hanging from his chest. Peter Parker, if the plot is normal, he will soon become Spider-Man. There was no reaction when I saw Peter Loxia, after all, they were in the same graduating class and had already met many times today. The system prompts that encountering key characters in the plot may unlock the power of a spell. Loxia believes that Spider-Man, as one of the absolute protagonists of the Marvel Universe, will definitely unlock one of his spells. But there was no response when he saw the Peter system, and Loxia speculated that it was because he had not yet become Spider-Man, after all, Peter Parker is not the superhero of Queens, just a student. Luoxia is not in a hurry if Lizzie is ahead of others. He will always be a patient person. Hey Parker. Fleischer's face was full of teasing, as he seemed to have no regard for those who came to seek justice. Come to me, take a photo of me and dear Gordon. No. I don't know how to take such a photo. Put him down. Peter looked serious, don't eat that thing. Gordon. Take a photo. Fleischer hesitated as Gordon swayed in his hand. Put him down. Eugene. Peter exclaimed loudly. Fleischer's face changed, and his full name was. Fleischer Eugene Thompson. Fleischer threw down the trembling Gordon who slammed onto the dining table and then rolled onto the cement slab covered in fine cracks, causing him to scream in pain. Gordon. Peter was about to step forward when Fleischer stopped him and punched him hard in the stomach. Peter instantly fell to the ground and his face turned pale. The camera rolled off, and he felt a cramp in his stomach, so painful that he couldn't even speak. Fleischer was a member of the school basketball team, and in a one dot on point one match, Peter had no fighting ability in front of him. Oh. The crowd of onlookers boiled as the students playfully provoked and mocked Peter, who had been knocked down to the ground. Stand up Peter. Fleischer roared, stand up like a man. Peter struggled to get up and was kicked to the ground by Fleischer. Stand up Peter. Are you a sheep? Fraser cursed, where did your courage go just now? Villain value plus one plus one plus one. These negative emotions were collected from Peter, 
just like Gordon before, and there is nothing special about him. It seems that Peter has not yet been recognized as a superhero by the system. Luasia shook her head slightly, but Peter, who had not yet been bitten by the mutated spider, was too weak. After finally kicking Peter again in Fleischer, he was ready to start having fun. Stop. A voice full of laughter came from the crowd. Fleischer was taken aback, his face full of disbelief. It was surprising that someone had come to ruin his game multiple times this noon. Are there so many people meddling now? That's right, it's you, that old man who looks like a hippopotamus. Luo Xia put a hand on his forehead and a haunted expression on his face. I didn't see it wrong, did you bully a poor, little spider, on campus? Your behavior is even worse than your appearance. Ha, huh, I heard you right, Fraser. He said you're like a hippopotamus. Someone was teasing. Loxia. Hannah, who was following him, tried to stop him from doing stupid things, after all, magic cannot be used for fighting. Negative values plus ten plus ten plus ten. Fleischer's anger was written on his face, which could be seen without the system prompt from Loxia. You look like an inflatable pufferfish now, and I want to use your face to brush your shoes, Luo Xia raised her hand and made a slight gesture of brushing back and forth. That despicable gesture made Fleischer's anger explode. You are very brave, but even more foolish. Fleischer charged towards Loxia, as if holding on to a football and charging into the opponent's defense. He has already figured out how to punch this stinky transfer student down. Luoxia's smile did not diminish. If someone paid attention to his eyes, they could see the silhouette of a wild cow. Luoxia kicked Fleischer, who weighed over 80 kilograms, into the air, and Fleischer hit the seat of the dining table like a broken kite. Mmm. The crowd exclaimed in unison, and everyone's chin dropped. Fleischer, who fell to the ground, curled up together as if enduring the pain. Negative values plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. The villain values collected from Fleischer have greatly increased. In addition to being happy, Luo Xia also analyzed that it should be Fleischer's negative emotions that he caused. Are you okay, Mr. Hippo? Luo Xia walked slowly forward. Why did you accidentally fall? I'll help you up. Luoxia grabbed Fleischer's collar with one hand and slowly lifted him up with force. The onlookers couldn't laugh anymore. The transfer student actually raised the tall and imposing Fleischer with one hand. Fleischer struggled weakly in his hands like a sheep. Hey, everyone saw it. It was him who accidentally fell, and I kindly helped him up. Loxia smiled, right, Fraser. Fleischer's neck was strangled to the point where he couldn't speak, even breathing was difficult. He struggled hard, like a sheep in the mouth of a tiger. Slowly, he saw Loxia smile and felt inexplicably fearful. Luoxia let go of him, but it's not over yet. Eat these foods, Fleischer, and set a good example for Gordon. Loxia pressed Fleischer's face into the plate, and Fleischer struggled fiercely, but everything was in vain in front of the power of the cow. Negative values plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. The central dining table was completely silent, with no one making any sound. The school bully Fleischer was actually pressed with his head into the plate, Hey, what's wrong with you, buddy? Someone spoke up and it turned out to be Peter, who had just woken up from the ground. Thank you very much for helping me, but can you let him go? He's already very miserable. Luoxia's smile remained unchanged, truly deserving of being a superhero in the future. Now Peter's sense of justice had already existed in his heart, like Gordon, who had just been bullied, now watching a good show in the crowd. No, 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 you seem to have made a mistake, Peter. Loxia said as she pressed down on Fleischer's head. I'm not here to help you or uphold funny justice, I just want to find someone to play with. Maybe the person whose head was stuck in mashed potatoes tomorrow will be Gordon just now. Of course, it could also be you, or every student present. The onlookers looked at the smile on Loxia's face, and slowly they couldn't laugh anymore. 
Peter couldn't speak either. New book, Seeking Investment, following up on reading, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Gwen Stacy You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Gwen Stacy, Fraser, I heard you're a school bully who often bullies weaker classmates, said Loxia. I also like bullying, but I like bullying school bullies. Ha ha ha. Does mashed potatoes taste good? Negative values plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. This voice sounds particularly pleasant to the ear in Luoxia. And you all. Luo Xia pointed his finger at the crowd as he moved, pointing to everyone. You guys are really terrible. You dare not speak up to help your classmates when they are bullied, and even make fun of them, isn't it? Think about poor Gordon and Peter, and now Fleischer's nostrils are full of mashed potatoes. I believe he doesn't want to eat mashed potatoes anymore. But no one dares to help him. It's so cold. Lotha said loudly, of course, except for the cute Hannah student. Negative values plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. The increase in villain values this time is quite significant, and Luo Xia's choice of language attack on everyone is very effective. Fu asterisk K, close your stinky mouth, yellow skinned monkey. A tall black classmate rushed towards Loxia, who was also a key player in the school's men's team and was nearly two meters tall. Luoxia pushed aside the miserable Fleischer, pulled out the plate, turned around to avoid the black man's impact, and casually patted the plate in his hand. Duong. The black classmate was about to tinker, and the remaining mashed potatoes were slapped on his head. Duong. Luo Xia took another shot, a racist. Duong. Luo Xia rose up and sang, Sunshine Rainbow Little White Horse. Duong. Luo Xia pinched her nose with the other hand, you're really a moving air pollution machine. Duong. Hey, Mr. Luo, I have something to inform you about. Luo Xia watched as the blonde Gwen hurriedly walked over holding a book. He picked up his black classmate with one hand and casually picked up a tissue from the dining table to help wipe the mashed potatoes on his face. Why are you so careless? Be careful when you walk next time, don't fall again. Luoxia looked concerned and whispered, those who understand, get out of here now. You don't want me to put your head in the toilet next time, do you? The black classmate left in a hurry, this transfer student is simply a demon. Hey, so why are you still gathered around now? Luo Xia said to the crowd, is it interesting to watch a poor classmate who fell into mashed potatoes? The crowd quickly dispersed, and now no one wants to provoke Luo Xia. Gwen walked up to Loxia and glanced at the name recorded in her notebook, Ricardo M. Luo. Am I right to call him that? Mr. Luo, or Ricardo? Just call me Loxia. Nice to meet you. Looking at the gentle smile on Luo Xia's face, Gwen even doubted whether he had committed the atrocities just now. My name is. Gwen Stacy, Lothar said first, I know. What are you asking them for my name for? M. I just asked them who was the most beautiful girl in this school, and they told me the name, Gwen Stacy, Loxia said seriously. Thank you. Well, that's not the point. Gwen's face blushed, so what were you doing just now? I think I saw something bad. There's nothing bad, everything is great. Luo Xia affirmed in her tone. Just now, two classmates fell into the mashed potatoes, and I kindly helped them up. Falling into mashed potatoes. Or two people. Gwen sighed and said, well, these are not the main points. You just transferred to Zhongqing Technology, and I want to tell you some school rules. Those who bully the Alumni Association and interview their guardians here can be punished for community service, or even expelled in severe cases. Good rules. Luo Xia nodded. This is how school bullies should be punished. I agree, after all, I'm not that kind of person. I was just happy to help others. So why are you looking for me? Do you have anything to tell me? Oh. I did inform you that you have been assigned to my study group by the teacher, 
Luo Xia kept interrupting and forgetting about the temperature difference point. Our study plan will start after school this afternoon, right in the classroom. I am on duty today and can clean the classroom after use. Okay, Luo Xia said, no problem, I love learning. Gwen stopped talking. If it weren't for her holding the transcript of Loxia that she had copied from the teacher, she would have believed what he said the warm sun slanted into the classroom, and Gwen's group's learning plan began at three o'clock. Luoxia also met an acquaintance in the study group, Fleischer. The mashed potatoes on his face had been wiped clean, but there were still some scratches, making him look a bit embarrassed. Negative values plus ten plus ten plus ten. Fleischer stared fiercely at Loxia, but he probably didn't take action due to the situation or the difference in strength. I'm so happy to see you, did you have a good afternoon, Fraser? Have you ever been to the school hospital? Um. What I mean is that you might have a slight concussion from your fall at noon. I suggest you go to the school clinic to see my friend, said Luo Xia, sitting next to Fraser seeing Gwen's surprised expression, Luo Xia said, friend I just met at noon. He hit Fleischer with his shoulder and said, Is that right, Fleischer? Hiss. Fleischer trembled, and there was a bruise left by noon at the place where Loxia collided Fleischer and nodded in humiliation, recalling the scene of being picked up by Loxia with one hand at noon, negative values plus ten, plus ten, plus ten. Okay, I'm glad you became friends, Gwen said helplessly. Now we're going to start learning. The main task of the study group is to complete homework. After completing the homework, Luo Xia took out her phone to play and waited for Gwen to check the homework of the other members first. He started reading a tweet from the New York Daily. Recently, a mysterious black-clothed man appeared in Queens. He fought against criminals and protected the public. Many citizens expressed that they were rescued by him when they encountered drug addicts and thugs' entanglement. Even last night, he solved a gang drug trafficking case. The people called him a superhero. Let's hear how the police evaluate him. Are you interested in these news? Do you want to become a superhero? So you helped Gordon and Peter at noon. Gwen sat down in front of him and picked up his homework book. The rest of the study group has already left, and the campus noise is isolated by doors and windows. The classroom is somewhat quiet. Luasha turned off her phone and said, No, 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 I never thought about helping anyone. I'm not interested in this superhero either, he gestured with his phone and said meaningfully, even if he was just yesterday, who knows if he will become an evil criminal tonight. Justice and evil are always in opposition, and I believe this black-clad man will uphold his justice. Gwen said as he looked at Loxia's homework. So I can only disappoint you, Loxia said in her heart. The man in black, the rising hero, is actually Luo Xia himself. He did all this just to try to find ways to enhance the power of the spell. Now he has found a way, but it is not the path of justice. You have completed your homework very well, student Luo Xia. Gwen returned it to him, you can leave now. Wishing you a pleasant afternoon and remember to be more careful when you come to school tomorrow morning. Fleischer will not give up easily. Tomorrow is the weekend, but after listening to what you said, I am already looking forward to next Monday. I think it will be very interesting, Luo Xia began to pack her backpack. Do you need any help? Luo Xia looked at the blackboard and the messy tables and chairs. I can be on duty alone, Gwen refused with a smile. See you next week. I should see you tomorrow, Luo Xia smiled and walked straight out of the classroom. Gwen felt a bit strange looking at Loxia's back. Tomorrow is Saturday, and she is going to intern at Osborne Group. How could she possibly see her? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Robbers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Robbers Park Hyatt Hotel in Downtown New York City Harry Winston jewelry covers the entire floor, and after the ball, several treasures will enter and bid one by one. 
most people come here just to socialize and expand their networks, and those who can get invitations are the wealthiest and most powerful group of people in New York. Of course, there are also people who come for those valuable jewelry, after all, Harry Winston is the top-ranked luxury jewelry, owning a Harry Winston jewelry means being associated with legends. The crystal chandelier inherited from the 19th century emits a soft light, and the marble floor is polished to a shiny finish, enough to reflect the scenery of the agile-footed waiter's skirt. Jewelry on stage shines brightly, and those rare materials have become even more precious through the hands of top craftsmen. The starting price of less than 10 exhibits exceeds 50 million US dollars. The guests toasted and chatted, not only appreciating the jewelry, but also using vocabulary such as securities, funds, stocks, biotechnology, etc. Few people linger on the dishes on either side of the room, although these delicious dishes are personally cooked by the hotel chef and the ingredients are mostly air freighted from other countries and regions. $4.9 million sold. The auctioneer dropped his hammer heavily, this Aphrodite's tear belongs to Mr. Morgan, may he be blessed by God of love. A faint round of applause echoed from the audience, and the starting price of the next three pieces of jewelry was all above $5 million, which was the highlight of tonight. Just as the atmosphere was about to reach its peak, a dull sound of gunfire suddenly exploded. The auctioneer, who had just been holding his hammer, had several blood holes in his chest and fell to the ground, with crimson blood continuously gushing out. The women screamed in panic one after another, and the esteemed guests scurried around, leaving no one to maintain their graceful demeanor. The muffled sound of gunfire swept through the venue again, and in an instant, several unlucky people were shot and fell to the ground. Fear swept through all the guests. Everyone stay still, squat down and hold their heads in both hands. A man wearing a black headband shouted on stage, whoever moves, I'll shoot him in the head. The person wearing a skull mask collected three unreleased jewelry on stage, and then went down to find the previous buyer. The jewelry captured on site will be delivered to the guests as soon as possible. The first buyer hesitated for a moment, and the man with the skull mask raised the Glock pistol and pulled the trigger. The hesitant buyer fell to the ground amidst the screams of his female companion. He fired at the lady wearing an off-the-shoulder dress again and said, Sorry, you're making too much noise. The guests who were found next became more conscious, and even Mr. Morgan did not hesitate to hand over $4.9 million worth of Aphrodite's tears. The signal at the venue has been blocked, but for your safety reasons, it's better not to try to report to the police secretly. If you don't want to see Jesus. The man with a black headscarf raised his Uzi miniature submachine gun and fired a shot. A man in a brown suit fell down, and his phone rolled into a pool of blood. He had just squatted in the crowd and secretly made a phone call, only to be discovered. The man with the skull mask quickly collected all the treasures. He put the jewelry in a black bag and put it on his shoulder. He looked at his watch and whispered, according to the plan, we still have 7 minutes and 42 seconds left. All right, now distinguished guests, please hand over all the valuable things on your body. Don't try to fool around, if you think these external things are more important than life, said the man wearing a black headscarf, Mr. Morgan. I really like the Patek Philippe on your left hand, the golden pen on Mr. William's chest is also very dazzling, and Ms. Jenny, the sapphire necklace on your neck is very beautiful. Under the organization of other armed men in black, guests orderly formed four queues and threw their valuable items into their black pockets. Isn't it, sir? You only have an old and worn dot out Rolex all over your body. The skeleton mask man raised his gun again. I'm really sorry, you have to hand over something else. I'm talking about your life. The man's face turned red, and he was shot with fear before speaking. The man in black dragged him aside, still breathing, and continued to search for the guests. The man with a skull mask looked at the last boy in the queue, who may have lowered his head in fear and could not even see his face. He looks like a wealthy young master who has been to this kind of party for the first time, with a slim figure that cannot fully support a high. End suit.
Don't be afraid, show your man's courage, don't be scared to wet your pants, that's too bad. I don't like killing unless you affect my good mood. The skull mask man smiled and encouraged, now hand over your treasure. The boy nodded in fear as he reached out and spread out his hand, dropping a piece of candy paper into his black pocket. The man with the skull mask was stunned. He suspected that his eyes were wrong and couldn't believe it. But he took out the candy paper from his black pocket, which was wrapped in chocolate and a bit sticky to his hands. I believe you made a mistake, right? The skull masked man smiled and raised his gun. But you also have to apologize with your life. At the moment when he was suddenly pointed at by a gun, all the fear on the boy's body disappeared. He lifted his head and the man with a skull mask froze again. The boy also wore a mask on his face, which was a hundred times more terrifying and majestic than his skull mask. It was a demon mask, no, it wasn't like a mask, it was more like actually peeling off the demon's face and wearing it on his own face, that's how it came to life. Even through the demon mask, he could see the boy smiling at him, captivating and terrifying the gunfire erupted in an instant and the muzzle of the Uzi miniature submachine gun spewed flames. It was a man wearing a black hood, and as the leader, he was more calm and decisive. In an instant, he cleared the magazine. The sound of gunfire fell, but fear entered the hearts of every robber. The imagined scene of a boy lying in a pool of blood did not happen, and the boy disappeared out of thin air. That's not a boy, but a demon. This power beyond science should be possessed by demons. Damn it. Come out. The robbers turned around and surveyed every corner of the room, trying to find the figure of the boy wearing a demon mask. Luasha stroked her tie and turned off the invisible power of the snake charm. Gentlemen, are you looking for me? The man with a skull mask quickly turned around and saw an open palm with the shape of a dragon imprinted on it, with golden rays surging in the veins. Bang! A pillar of fire erupted from Luo Xia's palm, instantly devouring the man wearing a skull mask. Dragon spell. Explosive flame. Your mask is so ugly. Luo Xia said discontentedly. Before the other robbers raised their guns, he had already moved invisibly again. His speed was extremely fast, and the robbers' movements became slow in his eyes, like koalas. Of course, these robbers were not as cute as koalas. Rabbit Rune Speed The gunshots were mixed, and everyone cleared their magazines, but a strange scene happened again, and the boy wearing a demon mask disappeared. There was only one corpse lying on the floor with its head completely melted, watching the headless corpse as unknown fear spread in their hearts. Luasia was very happy to hear this beautiful voice as the emotional fluctuations of the robbers were even more valuable under the threat of death. It's not a good habit to point your gun at someone else, Luo Xia came up to a black-clothed robber. I bet your gun doesn't have any bullets in it. Fu asterisk K. The black robbing robber decisively raised his gun and fired. Suddenly, a huge force came from the handle of the gun, and his hand couldn't even hold the gun. In an instant, the muzzle turned towards him and the trigger was inexplicably pulled, as if he had committed suicide by lifting a gun. Gunshots rang out, the black robbing robber fell to the ground, and his white head scattered all over the ground. I'm really sorry, I lost the bet. Luasia sighed and disappeared again. Watching the terrifying scene in the venue, everyone's minds were sweating profusely. Whether it was the robbers or innocent guests, the demon seemed not to be here to seek justice. More like spreading fear and creating destruction. He was enjoying the pleasure of killing these robbers. Watch, necklace, watch, it's a watch again. Is this Mr. William's golden pen? It's too tacky, isn't it? But it should be able to be exchanged for money by melting it into gold nuggets. A voice came from behind, and the black robbies turned numbly. They saw a person wearing a demon mask picking out a black pocket in a corner of the stage. These unsatisfactory accessories were thrown out casually and smashed onto the floor, making a crisp sound. No one fired again, 
they looked at each other and finally turned their gaze to the robber wearing a black headscarf. The demons in the corner seemed to have not noticed them, so it would be a good choice to stop and run away now. The face in the black headscarf was uncertain, and he waved his hand as more than a dozen black robbing robbers raised their guns and began to retreat. Their guns were aimed at the guests. Are we leaving now? It's really boring. Luo Xia suddenly spoke, her voice chilling, and all the robbers stopped their steps. Why don't we play a game? 123 Wooden Man Those who are still moving when I turn around will be sentenced to death. Of course, those who can walk to the door are safe. The demon mask turns around and smiles, don't move even the guests squatting on the ground, be careful of accidental injuries. Luoxia heard the rising sound of villain values, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Devils You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Devils The robbery that occurred in the city center instantly caught the full attention of the police. The police surrounded the Park Hyatt Hotel, controlled all entrances and exits, and the underground garage. However, in order not to stimulate the robbers and protect the safety of those VIPs, they did not attempt to forcibly enter the 28th floor controlled by the robbers. The police officers at the scene are also disoriented. This jewelry robbery has evolved into a hostage-taking case, and the hostages taken are all famous tycoons in New York. Even in New York, tonight's complex and influential case is extremely rare. It was not until George Stacy, the director of the New York City Police Department, arrived at the scene that the police's work slowly and orderly began. Can the identities of the robbers be confirmed? Director George asked the police officers at the scene, wearing bulletproof vests. Half an hour ago, he was still at home with his wife and children sharing dinner, but this major incident forced him to end his vacation and rush to the scene. Sorry director, the robbers are very clever. They have turned off all surveillance systems and curtains, and also blocked signals. We know nothing about the robbers. The police officer handed over a page of documents, but the list of hostages has been confirmed. The hotel has presented the invitation list for tonight's banquet. Director George took the document and felt a headache as he looked at the familiar names on it. These taxpayers also had political allies. If there were any casualties among these wealthy individuals, even if the police cracked down on criminals, there would still be great trouble. Prepare to shout on sight. The tense and solemn atmosphere spread, and each police officer's mood was heavy as they repeatedly checked their weapons and equipment. The Park Hyatt Hotel is located in the city center, and the actions of the police have also been captured by various media outlets. Outside the security line, there are still long guns and short cannons of journalists and paparazzi. Tomorrow's news headlines have been confirmed, and many media outlets are already trying their best to obtain first-hand hot information. You are already surrounded. Put down your weapons, we will ensure your personal safety. The police officers tirelessly repeated it time and time again, but strangely, the robbers did not respond. Director George felt that the situation was even worse. The robbers refused to communicate and negotiate with the police, and they held important hostages with confidence. After all, even if the police surrounded the hotel, they dared not act recklessly. Suddenly, a hurried voice came from the walkie-talkie. The guests on the 28th floor have come out, it's everyone. Criminals may be among them. Also, their mental state seems to be very bad. In an instant, all the police officers were tense, pulling out their guns and opening the safety, hiding their bodies behind the explosion.proof shield. Step back. Director George shouted at the media who wanted to watch, and under his command, the cordon was moved back again. The police officers held explosion.proof shields and formed a human wall to block the entrance of the hotel. Noble guests crowded and pushed with disheveled faces, and the sound of shouting spread out. The magnesium lights flickered, and the journalists captured the image of wealthy and famous people waving their teeth and claws through the glass. Devil. It's a demon. Let me out quickly. 
what qualifications do you have to restrict my personal freedom? I want to file a complaint against you. But the police officers completely ignored the shouting of these people and only coldly raised their pistols and shields, calling them to calm down, step back, and squat down with their heads in their hands. Mr. Director, you are detaining law-abiding citizens, they are not criminals. A reporter questioned Director George. But criminals may infiltrate and wait for an opportunity to escape. Director George explained patiently in front of the camera. So your foolish actions will only further stimulate criminals. The reporter persisted, your job is to protect the safety of the people, not to put them in danger. Director George exclaimed, they will be safe. After verifying their identity and making a simple record, they can leave. After speaking, he immediately walked towards the hotel. The police work quickly because the hotel not only has an invitation list, but many of these guests are well-known public figures, such as wealthy businessmen and Hollywood actresses. Slowly, some guests leave the hotel after verifying their identities, and they are immediately surrounded by the media. What, did the demon save you? He killed all the criminals. No, it's the devil who kidnapped us and those criminals. He's a hundred times more terrifying than criminals. His face is as ugly as a wild beast. He can breathe fire, be invulnerable to knives and guns, and use cruel and bloody methods to kill those criminals. It sounds like the devil Satan. No, that's not the devil. The guest remembered the terrifying game played by the devil and the robbers. When he turned around, the robber who couldn't stop was pierced by a pillar of fire. If everyone was completely stationary, the devil would make the robbers choose a companion inside to judge him dead. Devils are law.abiding, they are demons, chaotic and evil, representing destruction and slaughter. Such conversations keep coming and going, and it seems that the spirits of the guests who narrowly escaped death are somewhat abnormal, but so what? No journalist would think this is problematic, the more explosive the interview content, the more excited they will be. Director George took the elevator and arrived at the 28th floor. The power system on the floor was damaged and still under repair. Emergency lights were lit up in the pitch black room, and the strong light of the flashlight flickered. Several police officers were inside to investigate and gather evidence, and their voices of surprise and discussion kept rising. Director George entered the room and frowned as he looked at the chaotic luxury suite, with drinks and meals scattered everywhere which would definitely affect the police's evidence collection. Suddenly, he froze and his flashlight slowly moved back until it landed on a corpse. That is a headless corpse, and looking at the wound, the deceased's head doesn't seem to have been cut off. It seems more like it has been melted. Next came another corpse, lying on the ground with a basketball-sized opening on his back. His bones and flesh had melted and solidified. Director George's face twitched. No wonder those guests were so frightened that their spirits were a bit abnormal. Anyone who saw this terrifying and bloody scene with their own eyes would become a lifelong shadow, right? Cha! Suddenly, all the lights in the luxury suite lit up, and the tassels on the crystal chandelier trembled, shining brilliantly. After a moment, Director George adapted to the light and opened his eyes. He saw that all the police officers had stopped their work and were staring in the same direction. He immediately turned around. On the wall of the stage, there is a smiling face with an M on top and a V on the bottom, that blood-red smile is eerie and terrifying he lowered his head and glanced at the corpse on the ground again. I will definitely catch you, I promise, George Stacy muttered to herself. In a detached villa in Queens, Loxia sits in front of a mirror, with a demon mask that has been removed on a table next to her. He didn't turn on the light, only the moonlight and road light came through the French window, and there was silence around late at night. Luasha looked at her face in the mirror, then at the demon mask next to her. After moving her gaze a few times, she lost focus and his eyes were empty. Luasha looked back on tonight when he stayed at the Park Hyatt Hotel in the city center to punish those heinous robbers. He also passed through the dark alleys of Brooklyn, 
hanging the drug addict who intercepted robberies upside down from the street lamp. Of course, demons are not always just. While passing through Financial Street in Manhattan, while waiting for a red light, Luo Xia noticed that a 911 owner was unhappy with his gas head. He stopped the car and inserted the owner in a suit and leather into the roadside trash can, leaving only the blonde woman on the front passenger seat messy in the wind wearing a demon mask and wandering the streets and alleys of this evil city of New York, it brought a different feeling to Loxia. He was free, reckless, and free to do whatever he wanted. But all the pleasure disappeared without a trace after taking off the mask. Suddenly, Loxia felt like she had changed, just tonight, since she put on the demon mask. But Loxia doesn't know if it's good or bad. After all, when you put on a mask, why didn't you take it off? Luoxia picked up the demon mask from the table and covered half of his face. He smiled, and the demon mask in the mirror seemed to be smiling at him too. The system shows that he obtained a villain value of 8011 on the first day, indicating that he still has a talent for being a villain. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Osborne Group You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Osborne Group The morning sunlight shone into the Osborne Group headquarters building, and Gwen opened the storage cabinet. Suddenly, the information on her phone caught her attention. According to witnesses of the Platinum Hyatt Hotel case last night, the man who killed the robbers and rescued them was a man wearing a demon mask. According to Citizen Feedback, they saw the figure of the demon in every street district of New York last night. Although the demon stopped the crime and rescued the hostages, it is difficult to describe him in terms of justice. He seems to enjoy killing humans and would tease and torture them before killing them. Moreover, many of his bad behaviors are simply crimes. It is worth mentioning that the demon possesses some unique supernatural abilities, including invisibility, flight, flame explosion, etc., which are similar to the new superhero Black Man appearing on the streets of New York. It is unknown whether there is any connection between the demon and that superhero. Gwen frowned slightly, and suddenly she remembered what someone had said to him yesterday, even if he was just yesterday, who knows if he will become an evil criminal tonight. Gwen shook her head and threw some strange ideas out of her mind. After a moment, she took out her work clothes and put them on, and walked out of the lounge. Gwen interned in Dr. Connor's team, not only participating in scientific research projects, but also serving as an intern leader. Today, a new group of interns arrived. So her job this morning was to lead them on a brief tour of the Osborne Group, mainly to visit scientific instruments and research achievements. On the same floor, the door of the men's restroom was pushed open from the inside, and Luo Xia stopped in front of the sink to tidy up her collar. After leaving, she naturally joined the crowd of workers. Entering the Osborne group requires an appointment or a work certificate, and Loxia naturally does not have these things. He can only take an unusual path. Fortunately, the security management within the Osborne group is relatively loose, and even Peter, who has not yet become Spider-Man, can easily access the confidential research room. With the power of the twelve spells, Loxia naturally strolls leisurely within the Osborne group. Luoxia looked around the courtyard and saw the team of interns at a glance. His eyes searched for Peter's figure. According to the plot, Peter Parker will impersonate intern Rodrigo and enter the Osborne group today, attracting his attention with his unique thinking during a Q&A with Dr. Connors. Later, Peter accidentally bumped into a document in the hands of a senior executive of the Osborne Group. He found a familiar symbol on the document, which was related to Peter's father's research during his lifetime. So Peter followed the senior executive and entered a research room called the Bio-Cable Development Unit. There, Peter was bitten by a mutated spider, causing him to genetically mutate and become Marvel's most popular superhero. Spider-Man also known as the Pajama Baby in Avengers. Luoxia did not come to Osborne Group today to witness the birth of the protagonist Spider-Man in Marvel Universe. He just wanted to see if his antagonistic system would react to Peter, who had already become Spider-Man. After all, 
This is related to the unsealing of a spell, which can be further upgraded to enhance its power and allow it to live in this dangerous Marvel Universe with nourishment. In fact, Loxia also imagined getting Spider-Man's ability ahead of Peter, but she still thought it over. After all, Spider-Man is just a street hero. Apart from Spider-Sense, all his abilities have been destroyed by the Twelve Spells. And everyone's physique is also different. There is a healing power of horse talismans in his body, so it's possible that he might have been bitten by a mutated spider. Of course, the most important thing is that without the Spider-Man superhero camp, there would be a shortage of labor. At that time, the Octopus Doctor, the Electric Light Man, and other small villains would have to waste time dealing with them personally. Moreover, if the plot was changed, what accidents would happen may not be certain. So far, Peter has not appeared in the intern team, but Loxia is not in a hurry and patiently waits. Welcome to Osborne, my name is Gwen Stacy. I am a graduate student at Midtown College of Technology and also the intern leader for Dr. Connors. Therefore, I will be with you all the time during the visit. Luasia followed the sound and saw Gwen standing at the forefront of the internship team, holding a notebook. Her silk-like golden hair was particularly eye-dot-catching, and in an instant, all the interns were attracted to this beautiful girl. She put on a white work uniform over her short skirt, leaving a snow. White absolute space between the skirt and boots. The black short skirt shows off her figure, and her work clothes and notebook add a touch of intellectual temperament to her. There is no lack of elegance in her ability. Where I go, where you go, these are the most basic rules. Now please follow me, Gwen led the interns on a tour. Dr. Connor's team specializes in biomedical and chemical science, and this is the biological tree developed by the Osborne Group. You can come and visit it. The interns curiously gathered around, and the biotechnology tree used holographic projection technology to showcase the chaotic biotechnology tree on Earth, which was enough to shock these inexperienced high school students. This is the content of cross-species departmental research, and the following is cloning technology. Suddenly, Gwen's voice paused because her gaze passed through the group of interns and saw a familiar figure. Black hair, wearing a suit and looking a bit thin, with a straight back. It's Loxia, the new Asian transfer student. Last night on the school forum, Loxia brushed a photo of the school bully Fleischer's head pressed into a plate, and many students voted him as the new school bully of Zhongqing technology. And at this moment, Loxia was turning around, preparing to leave. How did Loxia appear here? Gwen is a bit puzzled. Osborne Group is a world.class biotechnology and chemical technology company, while Loxia is just a graduate with some poor grades, making it difficult for her to connect the two. Suddenly, Gwen remembered what Loxia said yesterday afternoon, see you tomorrow. It's rare that he followed him to the Osborne Group. This is not impossible, as an excellent and beautiful girl, Gwen has become accustomed to crazy pursuers. As is well known, the technology of cloning individual organisms has long existed, although it is not yet perfect. Osborne's research on cloning technology focuses on cloning a certain biological tissue, such as a single organ in the human body. Gwen regained his mind and continued to introduce, once this technology is successful, it will bring about a leap forward in modern medicine. Many incurable diseases can be cured by replacing human tissues. You can come around to visit our cloning experiment example. Gwen walked out of the crowd and looked in the direction of discovering Loxia again. Loxia was about to turn the corner and gradually disappeared into the crowd. Lucy. Gwen hurriedly called out to a colleague, help me take them on a tour, it's very simple. When he saw his colleague's expression on the face, Gwen quickly said, I'll go to the restroom. Please, please. Then come back quickly, Lucy agreed with a helpless smile. Gwen put down his notebook and quickly chased towards the place where Loxia had disappeared. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Gwen Spider-Man You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 7 Gwen Spider-Man 
Luasia was somewhat surprised that Peter did not come to the Osborne group today. He was not sure about the specific reason why Peter did not come, but it was definitely because his arrival changed the plot. But Loxia is not worried about Spider-Man's problem. As long as Peter wants to unravel the reason for his parents' disappearance, he will always find the Osborne group, perhaps tomorrow or next weekend, it's just a matter of time. What Luo Xia is thinking is, will the plot of Marvel Universe change from here on? Luo Xia, who was suddenly still thinking, was taken aback when someone was tracking him. It wasn't that he had a keen sense of perception, but rather that the tracking skills of the person following him behind him were too poor and full of flaws. Following too closely, footsteps, reflections on smooth walls who will be the person tracking him. Did the Osborne group discover his invasion? But obviously not. If Osborne's people discover him, they will only ask security to drive him out, after all, he has not put on a demon mask, and Osborne's people do not need to be afraid. Luasia didn't show any flaws, so he continued to calmly turn into a less crowded passage. After entering the corner, it happened to be a blind spot for surveillance without anyone, and Luasia's figure disappeared in an instant. Snake Charm Invisible After disappearing, Luo Xia leaned silently against the wall, listening quietly to the faint footsteps gradually approaching, and slowly he saw the figure of the tracker. Surprisingly, it was Gwen. Luo Xia was a bit surprised. She didn't take those interns well, why did she come with him? No one. Gwen looked at the empty passage and was a bit stunned. She was now wondering if she had just seen the wrong person Gwen's eyes scanned the empty passage, and at the end of the passage was an open door. It was obvious that if anyone came here, they could only hide behind that door. It's impossible to disappear out of thin air, right? Her eyebrows furrowed slightly, as if she was hesitating whether to go in and take a look. She lingered in place for a moment, but in the end, curiosity prevailed. Gwen recalled what Loxia said yesterday, see you tomorrow, and those questions resurfaced. What did Loxia come to Osborne Group for? He also entered such a confidential research room Luoxia leaned against the wall and watched the scene calmly. Gwen walked past him towards the end of the passage, turning his head to look at the door at the end of the passage, with a sign posted next to it. Biocable Development Unit Luoxia is a bit confused. According to the plot, it should be Peter Parker who accidentally entered this research room that is breeding mutated spiders today. But why is Gwen Stacy going in now? And it's still because of tracking him. After a brief thought, he did not stop Gwen from entering there, but silently followed behind Gwen. Luasia remembers that in the parallel universe Earth.65, Gwen Stacy became a superhero named Spider-Man, after being bitten by a radioactive spider can it be said that he has entered a Marvel parallel universe. Or perhaps the Marvel universe has changed its direction under his influence. After all, his influence far exceeds that of a butterfly. Is the superhero born today not Peter Parker's pajama baby, but Gwen Spider-Man? Fortunately, none of this seemed important to Lothar. Gwen's sense of justice and mission was no weaker than Peter's. Even though she was still an ordinary person, she played a significant role in Spider-Man's efforts to eliminate the villains. So Loxia believes that if Gwen Spider-Man were born today, she would also be a qualified superhero. Gwen cautiously entered this mysterious research room this place Gwen has never been before, after all, she is only an intern. After entering here, Gwen will also be amazed by its intelligence and sense of technology. In the center is a production line that manufactures various types of biological cables, and their design and development inspiration are all derived from magical spider silk. Spider silk is far more powerful than human imagination. In terms of mechanical strength, spider silk fiber is similar to the highest strength carbon fiber and high dot strength synthetic fibers such as aramid and kevlar, but its toughness is significantly better than the above dot mentioned fibers. Next up is a fully automatic machine that tests the toughness of these biological cables. The spider silk with thick and thin hair is constantly stretched into various shapes under the tremendous force of the machine, not only will it not break, 
but it also maintains its original toughness after contraction. Gwen looked around and found the room empty. Inexplicably, Gwen felt a little uneasy. Mr. Luo. Loxia. Gwen whispered as he groped into the room inside. And Luo Xia watched all of this calmly from the side. This is a constant temperature room scattered with blue light, and a giant machine that rotates at a constant speed occupies the entire room. The rotating machine is covered with various spiders, and the spider silk interweaves to form many huge webs. Gwen was also shocked by the SCI.FI style scenes, and she guessed that this should be the breeding room for mutated spiders. Before she could even find Loxia, the transparent spider silk shimmered in the blue light, and Gwen couldn't help but touch it with her hand. Suddenly, a sudden mutation occurred, and the giant machine that was rotating at a constant speed began to slow down. As the spider silk stirred, the web twisted and made a squeaking sound. Countless mutated spiders fell onto the ground in Gwen's hair. Oops. Gwen shook off those spiders, and the feeling of multi-legged animals touching the skin was really scalp-numbing Gwen watched as the mutated spiders on the ground prepared to run away, but as soon as he took a few steps, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his neck. Ah! Gwen almost bumped into the wall. She leaned against the wall and steadied herself, then turned her back to touch the wound on her neck. Detected, superhero spider Gwen, Rabbit spell has been unsealed and can be upgraded with villain values. Try to make Spider Gwen generate negative emotions, and more surprises await your exploration. The prompt of the female voice in the system sounds so wonderful to Luo Xia, but is it okay to bully girls? Still such a beautiful girl, she is a beautiful and lovely creature, she needs to increase her villain value more. You were bitten by a spider. Upon hearing this sound, Gwen immediately turned around and saw Loxia's face. She was a bit angry. Today was really unlucky, and when she went back, she would definitely be blamed by Lucy, who was in charge of the experiment. Who knows if the spiders used for experiments are poisonous but she doesn't have any reason to be angry either. Who knows, she brought it all on herself. If curiosity wasn't that heavy, wouldn't it be okay? Gwen can only blame himself for his misfortune. Luoxia approached Gwen and reached out to pull a spider silk from behind her neck. Luoxia lifted the spider silk and gestured for her to look. At the end of the spider silk hangs a small spider, clearly visible under the light and not terrifying, but the thought of being bitten by this creature makes one feel a bit eerie. Do you need me to help you take a look at the wound? Luoxia said enthusiastically, if the situation is very serious, you should go to the hospital because I don't know if these spiders are toxic. I think it should be necessary. Gwen turned around decisively, and suddenly she turned back and said, Thank you. Luoxia and Gwen exchanged a glance, and he smiled. Gwen immediately averted her gaze and said, How could you be here? She began to shift the topic. I am interning at the Biomaterials Department of Osborne Group, which is responsible for the research work of the Green Devil Biocable project. This is one of our department's studios. Luoxia is serious, he never needs to draft when telling lies. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Rune Upgrade You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Rune Upgrade Between Words, Luoxia began to move his hands. He lifted Gwen's blonde hair in clusters, which was very smooth and had a lot of hair, like ripples and waves caused by a gentle breeze on the lake surface. Luoxia opened her collar again and saw a small wound, similar to a mosquito bite. It looks like the wound is slightly reddened and has a small hard lump. It looks a bit red and swollen, can I touch it? If it's convenient, thank you. Now Gwen thinks that Loxia is not that bad anymore. Although his grades are bad and he can bully the campus, at least he bullies the school bully, which can be considered as defeating the villain. And he also has a gentlemanly and polite side, treating girls with great moderation. Luoxia extended her index finger to touch the wound on Gowen's neck, and a faint golden light flashed through. Ma Fu Curse Treatment 
Under the power of the horse talisman, the wound on Gwen's neck healed at a visible speed, and the redness and swelling quickly disappeared. At the moment when Luo Xia's fingers touched her, Gwen couldn't help but tremble slightly. She thought it was a physiological reaction, which made her feel a bit shy and her face involuntarily turned red. But Gwen is outgoing and not a girl who blushes when in physical contact with the opposite sex, which makes her somewhat puzzled. Gwen suddenly realized that the abnormality on her neck had disappeared. Originally, there was some itching and slight pain at the wound, but after Loxia touched it, these negative feelings disappeared. There was no reasonable answer, and she could only attribute it to psychological reasons. Luoxia tidied up Gwen's collar and hair and said, All right, there's no problem. You're lucky, that spider is non-toxic. Thank you. Gwen stroked her hair and smiled, so can we continue with the question just now? Why are you here? I am interning here. Where is the work certificate? Gwen stretched out his hand and spread it out. All employees of Osborne Group have work certificates, including interns. There is indeed a famous brand hanging on Gwen's chest. Ah. Uh. Lothar's face remained unchanged. What I mean is that I'm planning to intern in Osborne, so let's take a look first. Are you following me? No, it was you who followed me. It was only when you followed me that you were bitten by a spider. Gwen smiled and supported his forehead, okay. What I mean is that none of that matters. I sneaked in because. Loxia smiled and said, I love science. I love science so much. Osborne's achievements and status in the field of biological science are like Stark Industries in the arms industry, so I came here. How did you get in without a job certificate? Gwen said curiously, the mysterious and mysterious student of Loxia. It's not important either. We should go now. This laboratory is quite confidential, and the Green Devil Biological Cable project has not even been launched yet. It would be terrible if someone finds out that we've caused trouble here, said Loxia. You don't want to be fired by Osborne, do you? Gwen watched as the spiders on the ground shrugged and the two of them drove away. The two of them only chatted a few times along the way, and Luo Xia stopped in front of the elevator, I have to go now. Okay, I have to go back and continue working, Gwen nodded and said. Luo Xia handed over a glass test tube, in which was the mutated spider that bit Gwen, but it had already died. The spider inside the glass test tube under the light has a beautiful color and slender legs. It's really beautiful, Gwen sighed after taking it, but when I think it bit me, I want to flush it into the sewer. Ding! The elevator arrived, and the doors slowly parted on both sides. Don't do that, Luo Xia said, it will be worth your collection, goodbye. Luo Xia walked into the elevator. Goodbye, Gwen waved his hand. The elevator went straight down to the first floor. After leaving the elevator, Luo Xia found a public seat in the lobby and quickly opened the villain system to check. The fluorescent blue 3D interface appears, and indeed the emblem of the rabbit charm has been illuminated. Rabbit Rune LV1, upgrading to LV2 requires 1500 villain points, and the speed is increased to 50 meters per second. Luo Xia's villain value was still frozen at last night's 8011, and he did not hesitate to immediately choose to upgrade. LV2 to LV3 require 2000 villain points and increase speed to 100 meters per second. Luoxia continued to click on the upgrade button continuously until he upgraded the rabbit spell to LV4. His villain value was still 2011, which was not enough to support the next upgrade before he stopped. At this point, the speed of the rabbit spell has reached 160 meters per second, which is already very impressive. After all, the Bugatti Veyron is the world's fastest mass dot produced sports car, with a top speed of only about 120 meters per second. There won't be many superheroes who can catch up with Bugatti Veyron, at least the Americans and Spider-Man can't even smell Bugatti Veyron's exhaust. Luasia looked at the upgrade instructions of the villain system regarding the rabbit spell, and the required villain value for each upgrade would increase. 
Of course, the speed of the upgrade would also increase significantly. It is worth mentioning that Luo Xia discovered that the highest level LV-12 is not upgradable. The antagonist system suggests that upgrading to LV-12 requires all 12 spells to reach LV-11. When the rabbit spell level reaches LV-12, its speed can be infinitely stacked, even surpassing the speed of light, thereby gaining the ability to travel through time. In Marvel settings, this is the ability of a time gem after a simple calculation, Luo Xia found that if he wanted to upgrade from the current LV-4 to LV-11, he would need a villain value of 31,500, and his speed would reach five times the speed of sound. However, Luo Xia still believes that it is necessary to achieve balanced development by upgrading the rabbit spell to LV-7, and reaching the speed of sound is already sufficient. After all, there are very few chicken ribs in the 12 talismans, and many upgraded talismans can greatly enhance his combat power. It seems that the cost of upgrading the spell level is still within an affordable range, after all, according to the system mall, a skill that is, proficient in firearms, or, proficient in driving, requires 2,500 villain points to be exchanged, and a Porsche 911 worth around $200,000 only needs 5,500 villain points to be exchanged. Luoxia's goal now is clear, which is to earn more villain points. The villain points can not only be exchanged for various skills in the villain system, but also upgrade spells. Its importance is self-evident. Hey! Luoxia's mind was still sinking in the system, and a voice awakened him. I always meet you in unexpected places, Gwen said. Luoxia, I met you again. I thought you had to take a step first. Luoxia looked up, and Gwen was standing in front of her playfully. She had already changed off her work clothes and was carrying a small bag. I'm here to take a break and summarize what I gained from visiting Osborne today. Luo Xia stood up and looked around at the luxurious decorations, it's really technology in luxury. So what about you? I took a leave, it seems like it's that damn spider. My body has some adverse reactions and my overall mental state is not good. Gwen shrugged and said, if it's still like this later, I should consider going to a community hospital or something. Actually, I feel like I should go to the hospital now. If someone hadn't told me that the spider is not poisonous. Indeed, that spider is not poisonous, I guarantee it. Luo Xia smiled, you look very bad. Do you need me to take you home? End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Spider Woman You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Spider Woman When the subway was traveling at high speed, the howling wind was heard, and several thugs dressed in heavy metal accessories and strange costumes gathered at the rear of the carriage. They danced on the steel pipes with the carriage's handrails, making the noise annoying. But even in this noisy environment, Gwen fell asleep leaning on Loxia's shoulder. Even in her sleep, Gwen's eyebrows furrowed lightly, indicating that her condition was not good. In fact, being pressed against Gwen with her fragrant hair on her nose is a good mood for Loxia, but the group of energetic and strangely dressed thugs at the rear of the carriage are too noisy, and their words are not lacking in offending Gwen's figure and Loxia's skin color. Luoxia gently leaned Gwen's head against the seat, and he got up and walked towards the rear of the car with a smile on his face. Hey buddy, is that your girlfriend? Amo Xiao with a metal chain around his neck teased, how much does it cost in two hours? Luoxia didn't talk nonsense to him because even if she insulted the other party's mother, she would still be at a disadvantage and didn't even want to have physical contact with him. Luoxia kicked out, and the black guy was kicked to the ground and hit the pole, bending into a bow before stopping. The other few thugs, Luo Xia, also used shoe soles to make them lose their mobility, leaving only a woman with pink hair in the end. The woman with pink hair trembled with fear when she saw Loxia approaching. Damn it, she met Bruce Lee on the subway today. The smell of her inferior perfume is very pungent, which is simply a mobile air pollution device. I don't hit women unless I'm in a bad mood, Luo Xia frowned and pinched her nose. You stink too much. Can you go to the next carriage? The woman with pink hair nodded straight, 
trembling as she turned around and prepared to leave. Suddenly, she flew up and fell to the floor of the next carriage like a dog gnawing on mud, leaving a footprint on her buttocks. I forgot to tell you, and now my mood is very bad, Luo Xia muttered to herself. Just now you said the most vigorously, and now you fly the highest, isn't it fair? Luoxia withdrew her feet and rubbed them back and forth on the floor, as if she had just stuck something dirty on the sole of her shoes. He just wants to vent his negative emotions and earn a small wave of antagonistic value. Luoxia turned around, and Gwen had already woken up, quietly watching him. Luoxia shrugged innocently. Sorry for disturbing you. He walked up to his seat and sat down. Did I be too violent just now? I thought you would say they all accidentally fell. Gwen pursed his lips and said, but I hope you don't kick my butt in the future, I don't want to fly. How could it be that men in our country treat girls with courtesy, especially when facing beautiful girls, Luo Xia said, looking into Gwen's eyes. After staring at each other for a second, Gwen turned his head and avoided Luo Xia's gaze, saying, I know they should have offended you. But maybe your approach is too radical, after all, violence cannot solve problems and can make them worse. No, 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 you're wrong, Gwen, said Luo Xia. One day you'll find that violence is the best way to solve problems. If the problem gets worse, it means. You need greater violence. Luoxia walked in the teaching building, and the students in the corridor consciously separated a spacious road before coming to his storage cabinet. On the other side, Peter skated in with a bandage wrapped around his head, looking extremely frail. Parker. A teacher stopped him, do you still want your skateboard? I think so. Peter picked up his skateboard. Then let the wheels face upwards, okay. 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 Peter helplessly lifted his skateboard over his head, is this okay, teacher? Great, don't touch the ground. Peter nodded repeatedly, but when the teacher entered the classroom, he skated in the hallway again. Coincidentally, his storage cabinet is adjacent to Luo Xia. Peter carefully glanced at the person next to him while holding the book. Mr. Luo. Peter tentatively greeted. Luo Xia nodded at Peter, his mood has been good lately. Luo Xia spent several nights leaving the demon symbol on the streets of New York and earning a lot of villain points, successfully upgrading the rabbit spell to LV7. Nowadays, the popularity of demons exceeds that of all superheroes. Devils not only make the villains tremble, but also cause headaches for other superheroes and police officers. Many young people imitate his strange behavior, and even toy manufacturers sell out all kinds of demon masks. Hello, I'm Peter Parker. The person you saved at noon that day, I hope you still remember me. Peter reached out his hand, I haven't had the chance to say thank you to you. Thank you for helping me at noon that day. Luoxia gave him a faint glance and ignored his request to shake hands. Don't worry, I remember I said that day, I didn't think I wanted to help you, I just wanted to find someone to play with. Maybe you'll be unlucky again next time. Peter smiled awkwardly without paying attention. Did you use Kung Fu that day? I was a fan of Bruce Lee and I also love Kung Fu. Can you teach me? Or can we discuss this aspect first? I heard that when you recruit, you need to first look at your talents. Peter was very excited. You are really stylish, you are cool, you are super handsome. You are my idol. Thank you for your compliment, Luo Xia patted his shoulder and said with a smile, because your good judgment escaped a disaster. Just now, I was thinking of stuffing your head into the trash can. Suddenly, Luo Xia was attracted by a report. Recently, a new street hero has emerged on the streets of New York City. She is wearing a tight-fitting white and black outfit, as well as a pair of blue ballet shoes. She fights against criminals and protects many single women who come home from work alone at night. People call her Spider Woman. Peter was still saying, do you like quiet students? If you are willing to teach me Kung Fu, I think I can also remain silent. Shut up. 
Luo Xia interrupted Peter, who walked up to the classmate who was reading the news report. Hello classmate, can you show me? And oh, this is what my mother just bought for me, you can't take it. The girl's reaction was very strong. She hugged the iPad in fear, looking around in fear and helplessness, but everyone avoided her gaze. Luoxia is already doubting how evil her character is, because the villain value is jumping again, and the girl in front of her is really afraid, I just want to read this news. 30 seconds, students need to trust each other. Okay. The girl picked up her iPad with both hands and cautiously turned one side of the screen towards Loxia. Luoxia looked at the screen with black lines all over her head. At this moment, the interviewee is a single woman who has been rescued by Spider-Woman. She is my god. Spider-Woman. She is a true superhero, and our whole family is very grateful to her. If it weren't for her, I might have been violated by a drug addict. The scene revolves around Spider-Woman constantly shooting out spider silk and swaying between tall buildings. Behind her is a police car that collides with a private car, with sirens blaring wildly. A thrilling chase battle is concluded by Spider-Woman's victory. Next, the reporter interviewed the city police chief, George Stacy, at a press conference at the police station. But many of us believe that she is just. She not only fights against criminals, but also helps many people, the reporter said. We wear the badge of justice, while the fugitive wears a mask. We do not deny that she has done something helpful to the citizens, but the seeds of evil cannot bear the flowers of justice, and she does not have the power to enforce the law. She acts recklessly on the streets and often makes things worse. Director George Ejing said, according to incomplete statistics, the damage caused by Spider-Woman has exceeded $1 million, and she has seriously disrupted the work of the police. The director of the New York City Police Department has made a promise to the citizens that we will definitely bring Spider-Woman to justice in the shortest possible time. After reading it, Luo Xia burst into laughter. After thanking him, he turned around and left. The timid girl breathed a sigh of relief when she saw that Luo Xia was not trying to steal her iPad. He can naturally be certain that Spider-Woman is Gwen Stacy, who was just bitten by a mutated spider a few days ago. It seems that her adaptability is good. However, the current situation seems very interesting. Spider-Woman has caused some trouble, and Director George is always thinking of bringing her to justice and sending her to prison. If Director George sees Spider-Woman as his daughter after taking off her mask, what will happen? To annihilate one's family with righteousness. Or pretend nothing happened and let Gwen go. Thinking about that scene, Loxia finds it interesting. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Devil vs. Spider Girl You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 10 Devil vs. Spider Girl crossed the road, in the last few seconds of the green light, the only pedestrian on the crosswalk is walking slowly. It was drizzling at night, and he didn't hold an umbrella. He just wore a hoodie hat. Dee 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 dee. A red Ferrari suddenly honked continuously, and even the young and energetic man extended his head out of the car window and shouted loudly, Get out of here. Damn fool, an eighty-year-old lady can walk faster than you. The pedestrian suddenly stopped and stood in front of Ferrari, slowly turning around. The raindrops were clearly visible falling in front of the car lights, and the dazzling lights hit the faces of pedestrians. It was not a face, but wearing a demon mask. The young car owner was stunned for a second before angrily cursing, Damn it, what kind of demon are you pretending to be? Wear a mask to play cosplay. I'm still Captain America. The demon still didn't speak, just grinned with a captivating smile. The car owner's jaw dropped in shock, and in an instant, fear descended. If it were a mask, one could not smile unless it was really a demon's face the Ferrari engine roared and just as the green light came on, the car owner looked at the demon in front of him with a fierce face, but suddenly the demon in front of him disappeared. Ferrari ran over the humanoid cross and didn't crash into space. The car owner looked in the rearview mirror, 
and the demon stood still and smiled at him. But his fear has decreased a lot, Ferrari has completed a hundred kilometers of acceleration in just three seconds, and the demon can't catch up with the supercar with electric brakes. After racing for several kilometers all the way to reach the Brooklyn Bridge, he slowed down and breathed a long sigh of relief. Before he could completely let go of his worries, a thud thud sound sounded and someone was tapping on the car window. A man's back feels cold, who can catch up with a sports car that goes 60 kilometers per hour and knock on the window. The only answer is demons the man accelerated again, trying to shake off the demon, when suddenly a loud noise came from the top of the car. The Ferrari's roof was deformed under the tremendous force. The piercing sound of cutting metal was heard, and men could imagine the scene of demons lying on his car, slowly tearing off the roof with their claws the immense fear made his limbs stiff, and after a driving error, Ferrari crashed into the guardrail on the bridge. Bang! A loud bang came out. Fortunately, even if he stepped on the brake, only half of Ferrari's body rushed out of the bridge, and the rest got stuck. The airbags wrapped around him, causing only minor impact injuries. The accident on the bridge also blocked traffic, and the honking of private cars kept coming and going. But the agonizing sound of cutting metal continued. The demon had not let him go yet, and the man even wanted to start a car and drive into the river to die, help. Help. The man kept yelling. The demon finally slowly tore open the car roof, smiled at the man standing on the roof who was stuck by the airbag, and slowly extended his hand. It was actually a human hand. The hand grabbed the man's collar, and the man screamed uncontrollably. Under the immense power of the demon, the man was slowly pulled out, but in this short process, he had several bone fractures added to his body. The demon only used brute force, but regardless of whether it would harm him or not. Let's learn traffic regulations together, the demon continued to smile. Promise me to remember to yield to pedestrians next time, okay? The man almost fainted, his heart beating wildly, and the screams drowned out the sound of all the cars honking. Negative values plus 80 plus 80 plus 80. Hey! Mr. Devil, I think you should let him go. Upon hearing the familiar voice, Luo Xia couldn't help but smile as he slowly turned around. The spider woman wearing a white and black tight-fitting suit was slowly falling upside down with spider silk, her bent legs and agile body resembling a spider, and her spider jeans would subtly influence every move she made. Okay, as you wish, Luo Xia casually threw the man off the bridge. No. Spider Gwen leaped out sensitively and her wrist quickly spewed out spider silk to grab the man who was falling. She tied the spider silk to the bridge before slowly walking towards the demon. No. No. Don't come over. Luo Xia raised his hands as if surrendering, and he said with a smile, I did as you said, Miss Spider. The demon mask can modify Rosha's voice and attire, so it sounds particularly unfamiliar to Gwen. This is not funny, Mr. Devil. Spider Gwen said angrily, you have to pay the price for your behavior. Spider Gwen shot out spider silk, but was caught by Loxia. What is this? Spider silk. A great idea. Luasia's voice suddenly came to an end, and before he could finish speaking, he was pulled away by the tremendous power transmitted from the spider silk. The upgraded bull talisman could only increase its strength by a few hundred kilograms, while the spider Gwen could easily lift a car. Now, relying solely on his strength, he was definitely not a match for Gwen. Watching the demon spider Gwen fly in, he prepares to punch out, aiming at his face wearing a demon mask. Suddenly, the demon extended his right hand, and spider Gwen saw a dragon totem shining in his palm. Dot. The spider sensed a warning, and suddenly she felt danger. Spider Gwen did not choose to attack, but immediately jumped away. She spread out her body and landed lightly like a spider, leaning down on the ground with one hand to maintain balance. Boom! A pillar of fire flew out, hitting the spot where she had just stood, and the cement floor was scorched black. 
Dragon Spell. Explosive Flame. Spider Gwen looked at it for a while and was afraid that if she was hit and didn't die, she would have to peel off her skin. Now, her spider suit doesn't have any protective ability. After landing, Luo Xia rolled and stopped for a while. He stood up and patted the non-existent dust on his body, elegant as a gentleman bowing to his dance partner. Spider Gwen stood up and patted his palm, saying, very elegant demon master, if you don't feel so embarrassed when landing. Thank you for your appreciation. Luo Xia bowed and bowed, his attire of a hoodie and jeans quietly changing, instantly transforming into a well-fitting tailcoat, with only the demon mask on his face remaining the same as before. Oh! How did this happen? Spider Gwen couldn't help but exclaim, holographic projection. Rapid 3D printing technology. Nanomaterials. Or eye blocking. It can't really be magic, right? It's completely unscientific. Luasha still smiled, it seemed that Spider-Man in any world could not shake off his talkative nature. Nice to meet you, I really want to talk to you more. Spider-Gwen reached out his hand from the air, but this is not a good place. We have already affected traffic, so I need to quickly solve you. Spider-Gwen leaped up suddenly, and with Spider-Sensing, she chose to engage in close combat with the demon, which was undoubtedly the best way. In the just confrontation, she also realized that the demon strength was not strong. Shoo! She shot out spider silk and grabbed onto the steel cables of the bridge. She quickly flew out in a single pendulum motion, extending her slender and straight legs to get a flying kick. But suddenly the demon in front of her disappeared, and Spider Gwen's attack fell into thin air. She held back and was not shocked. How could the demon's speed be so fast? Suddenly someone patted her left shoulder, and Spider Gwen didn't hesitate at all. He dodged and swept his leg, but the attack missed again. Someone patted her right shoulder again, and Gwen punched again, end of this chapter.